Yeah, good everyone. Welcome to Dynamics of YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be giving a thoughtful revision on the podcast by Apostle Simon on welfare prayer. Welfare prayer is not about fighting demons or spirit. It's about establishing the victory already achieved through Christ over various situations and circumstances. You know, welfare prayer is very important because it is crucial when entering new season in life as Satan tends to challenge the believer at these pivotal moments. So in the podcast, I'm also talk about the nature of spiritual welfare. So there are two stubborn spirits. Satan and unclean spirit are persistent in causing pain until you actively opposed by believer through prayer. So this one is biblical foundation. Reference to scripture that Philippians 1.19 underscore that prayer turns situation to the believer advantage solidifying the victory in Christ. So he also talk, I talked about the practicing welfare prayer. One is engagement. Believer must engage in welfare prayer during a critical life moment like changes in season, anniversaries and birthdays. This one is what community support often involves gathering support from other believers to harness collectively prayer power. So, believers must continually engage in welfare prayer to protect themselves and their spiritual community from pers persistent spiritual attacks. Please make sure you like, share this video and make sure you also drop comments. Thank you so much. Warfare. Warfare. This one I will not even be tempted to delve in. I will just touch it in a hurry. Else we'll spend the whole day here. Warfare. Prayer. Warfare prayer. Philippians chapter 1 and verse 19. The assignment of warfare prayer is to establish the realities that have been finished in Christ. To make them manifest in your life. I like how the Bible puts it. To turn anything to your salvation is the assignment of warfare prayer. Warfare prayer is not about fighting demons. It's not about fighting spirits. It's establishing the victory that is already wrought in Christ. Are we together? Over spirits, over situations, over circumstances. I like the way the Bible puts it. To turn things for your salvation. It says, for I know that this shall turn to my salvation. How? Through your prayers and the supply of the spirit of Jesus Christ. I know that this disappointment. I know that this attack. My God, there are things every believer must know. I know that this family crisis, I know that this court case, the assignment of warfare is to turn anything to your advantage. Anything. Anything to your advantage. There are times when you come close to a tree, when you don't pluck the fruits on time, they start rotting and they fall to the ground. But the earth has a unique way of turning everything to the advantage of the soil. Are we together? It now becomes manure. Something that you see bringing flies and smelling around and the earth is not threatened by it. It's a mentality you must have. As a believer, you must look at everything from the standpoint of God's sovereign plan. There is still a way God can get glory from this. You were sent away from your work. Okay, the deed has been done. What else can be done from this? I know that even in the midst of this, it can still turn for my salvation. This was Paul's mentality. When he got into prison, he would not sit down and say, God, why me? He would use the opportunity in the prison because he knew something. He would write letters to the churches and say, I hear that you people are misbehaving. I'm soon coming out of this prison. I will come and visit you. But in the meantime, correct this, correct that. He was a man who knew that to live is Christ and even to die is gain. You must know this. Warfare prayer is predicated on an understanding that all things work together for good. Please hear me. To them that love God, not to everybody. All things work together for good to them that love God and to them who are the called according to his purposes. Believe that all things are working for your good. Truly believe it. The disappointment, the joblessness, including what you think is happening nationally. Lord, I don't know how you do this, but because I am the called, it must work for my good. In the name of Jesus Christ, work for my good. And you engage in the place of prayer. Are we together? Yeah. Scriptural prayer model. You may want to correct that. I see someone projecting my message. Scriptural prayer models ends with an S. Scriptural prayer models, please. Thank you. 
scriptural prayer models warfare now there are people who do not believe in warfare prayer it depends on what you call warfare i personally do not believe in an endless struggle of fighting demons and fighting spirits with no victory in view that becomes an insult to what christ has done on the cross are we together yes however let me assure you that nothing gets established on its own satan and all unclean spirits are stubborn spirits meaning that they have a passion to insist on your pain until you disengage them by light i desire to come to you even i paul once and again he said but satan hindered us Knowing that victory has been wrought in Christ does not threaten Satan. is engaging and appropriating that victory that threatens him. Satan is not afraid of scripture. He's afraid of the believer who understands how to engage scripture for your profiting. Hallelujah. He will kill anything he's allowed to kill. Steal anything he's allowed to steal. And you believe me on this. Destroy anything he's allowed to destroy. This is the assignment of warfare prayer. Haven't done all to stand, stand. Don't assume that God loves your children so much they will be nice, wonderful, and disciplined people engaged in the spirit. When you see the cloud, when you see the formation of darkness, that is the time to take on your priestly regalia and get to the place of prayer. The Bible says, if you turn aside in the day of adversity, there is a day in everybody's life called the day of adversity. You don't have to be good or bad. He informs you, pre-informs you, so that number one, you build prayer strength, prayer power for those days, and that when those days come, you can engage. There are times that it looks like all hell have chosen to break loose over you, your marriage, your children, your health. Are we together now? You must know how to engage warfare prayers. Warfare prayers are serious times of spiritual adventure. Usually they do not go with you praying alone. There are times you need to draw forth the support of other brethren. People who love you and understand because you need to engage with power. Warfare prayer. This is very important. Jesus is about to go to the cross and he goes to Gethsemane. And the Bible tells us that he locked up himself and he was praying until the, the, um, the sweat became like blood dripping from him. The question is, what kind of prayer is that, that the word incarnate, the very son of God? There have been times in my life where I had to engage that kind of prayer. Let me give you two information about warfare prayer. Every time seasons are about to change, this is the kind of prayer you need to engage in. Because Satan will always start at, stand at the corridor of new seasons. Birthday periods, anniversary periods. Do you know it was during, I told you yesterday, it was during a man's birthday that a prophet's head went away. I have taught my people and trained them that before you celebrate your birthday, if your birthday is on the 12th, by 9th or 10th or 11th, you should have some time of retreat. Now, not many, it's not, a, it's not a scriptural injunction, it's just a prophetic guide. I don't believe in people sleeping and snoring themselves into defining seasons. No, that is a careless Christian, in my opinion, honestly. Honestly. When Jesus was born, there were reactions in the heavens. When Jesus was about to be commissioned, there were reactions. When Jesus was about to start the core of his assignment, his passion, there were reactions. When he died, there were reactions. When he resurrected, there were reactions. On the day of Pentecost, there were reactions. There are certain kairos moments in our lives where you cannot afford to slumber while men slept. There are defining seasons in your life. You are about to celebrate your birthday. Take at least one or two days. Let the people celebrate you. Lock yourself and pray. Especially where you are striking very, very notable, you know, points in life. These are survival strategies. 
everybody who wants to live serving the purposes of the kingdom and to walk in victory must understand warfare prayer i will never allow satan come and roam around my vicinity unattended to i have the responsibility of sanitizing my spiritual atmosphere and i must do that without fail he will not respect the fact that you are a man of god that is not his business i think i may have said it here let me say this and then one point and we'll wrap up there are spirits listen please there are spirits that are assigned to believers the moment you get born again there are demonic spirits assigned to sabotage the purposes of god in your life number two there are spirits that are assigned to ministerial offices they are not assigned to individuals they are assigned to whatever of if god has called you to be an intercessor there are spirits that will look for you you don't have to call them they will come they were sent to pursue every intercessor because the devil knows the power of prophetic intercession there are spirits that are assigned to regions so you relocated to lagos welcome but there are spirits it's not only bureau of statistics that are where you came there are spirits who are where you have arrived do you know why they begin to mold you to look like the deformities within that territory if that territory is known for poverty if you like be a multi-millionaire if you don't have spiritual intelligence you can step into that territory and mysteriously things will start going bad it's true it's true one court case after another one trouble after another or they will tell you that three of your relatives need a kidney transplant sixteen thousand per one can you bring out 50 million and all these troubles just plague you in a moment you try to look like the spirit of the region i wish i were lying to you i would have just told you i'm sorry but it's true that also includes overseas so overseas does not have a special closeness to the throne room no it's just that the people are a lot more enlightened than we are now and their policies work a lot better than it does here but as far as the attack of spirits the whole earth lies in wickedness you will find spirits everywhere now imagine the spirits that attack you as a believer then a man of god spirits that attack families because there is a prophet there is an apostle that is coming there and you don't even know where the attack is coming from you would have looked at all of these people in the bible and seen the kind of attack that came over them what is the what am i looking for now i'm sure mary would look at her child and say why do they want to kill my baby as for me i've made a covenant with god that for as long as i'm alive i will keep satan far from my life the ministry god has given me and everybody god has brought under my care i take it as a responsibility one thing i can tell you satan is not he's not a friend he's not an advisor there is no discussion you should have with satan he is evil the epitome of evil he will kill anything he's allowed to kill i've been sick before i know what it means to have mysterious infirmities warfare prayers